Okay, this just dropped in my head. How can two walk together lest they be agreed? That's a question asked in the Bible. And this is what I say to that. For those of you who are looking for a church home, there are things to consider. Number one, they have to be founded on Christ Jesus. Number two, they must operate in the spirit of the living God. Number three, they must teach living a holy life. Now, the rest of it goes along. I mean, it's pretty general, the baptism and, the, you know, the Bible study and all of that. That goes along with it. But here's something you have to look at. When you go to a store, you're either looking at a liquor store, that's one focus, a tobacco store, or smoke store, that's another focus. A musical store where they sell musical instruments, that's another focus. Or a clothing store, we'll just keep it down to those four categories. There, I mean, there's a myriad of categories of the types of stores and markets that you can shop in, shoe store, jewelry, whatever. You get my drift. Now, you know churches are the same? They may all be, you may find 10 churches that are founded in Christ, that are filled with the Holy Spirit, preach the gospel beautifully, and definitely live a holy life or teach it. Now, here's what you have to look at. What burns in your spirit? If you are yearning to evangelize, and this particular church is all about having dinners and banquets and, 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 and little vacations and, and uh, seminars and workshops. And it's all about us four and no more. You know what I mean? Very in, introverted. Then you're not going to be satisfied there because you're called to reach souls for the kingdom. That is your mode of gift is evangelism. That's your, your, your central core thing that drives you. Now, so you have to find a church that is also focused on that. And you will reach your highest potential there. Now, here's another one. If you find a church that is focused on evangelism, which is good. They should always be. But your focus is on teaching that word. And that particular church is weak in that area. And they don't really teach that word. They're just, you know, they kind of gloss over it and give a little pancake, you know, milk and pancake uh, message. You know, I call it milk toast message. And it's nothing that where the word gives you a handle on life. And, and on yourself for that matter, then you're probably in the wrong place too. Because if your motive gift is to teach, then that means you believe in equipping the saints and girding them up and they must have knowledge and understanding to do so. Well, they can't get knowledge and understanding when they have a very superficial milk toast message every every weekend okay now here's another one if you are about uh inner healing or deliverance ministry and the church doesn't even believe in demons they don't even believe in 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 evil spirits uh, they don't have any of that in their teaching they don't believe in it they ignore it ignore them keep on stepping Find a church that acknowledges that that is definitely something that must be dealt with. A church that believes in spiritual warfare and knows how to do so. Okay, that's my point. My point is you must find churches that align with your groove and that open your mind to other things as well. But don't get an ingrown church. Don't get a church that doesn't really know the word. 
or teach it for that matter. They just gloss over it. Don't get a church where it's like a sorority or, or a, um, a country club. You must look for the churches that are in line or are focused on similar things that you're focused with or focused on. That's just a little tidbit for those of you who are looking for a church home. That's a nice little guideline for you to go by. God bless you and happy hunting.